Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at two upcoming events, one in October and one in April of 2024. Two eclipses, two total solar eclipses, and I'm going to show you guys the path of these eclipses and something that might be visible during one of the eclipses that is quite rare. I don't think this has ever happened before, but we're going to come back and take a look at all the data, see if you're maybe in the path of the total eclipse or the, the partial eclipse, once again, that are coming up here in just a few months. But first, over here at the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Megan out of Massachusetts of a very unusual sky. That is the sun behind some clouds. Almost looks like three suns in the sky at the same time. But that's obviously not. That is a weird coincidence how the, the clouds were in that configuration at the same time. She happened to look up and grab a photo of the sky during that rare moment. Thank you, Megan. Really appreciate that. However, we're going to see some video footage from Scotland that shows what looked like multiple suns in the daytime sky. Just for a brief moment, very rare video footage coming out of Scotland. But first over here at spaceweather.com, we have two comets entering the solar system right now as I do this video. Comet Nishimura, which may be visible next month around the middle of September. It might be a daytime comet right now. It's in this location here, plunging towards the sun. It's a green comet. You can see it just before sunrise if you look in the eastern sky to the left of Orion. And you might need a pair of binoculars. This image here at spaceweather.com was taken with a high-powered camera and it managed to pull in the, the comet and you can see the, the bright green glowing comet that again is in the eastern sky before sunrise and it will be visible for the next few days. Here's a map from spaceweather.com. This is a map of August 25th before sunrise looking east and the comet will be getting lower and lower on the horizon but right now if skies are clear you can probably see the comet with a pair of binoculars as it's diving towards the sun. There's also another comet diving towards the sun that's shaped like a winged planet or a Millennium Falcon. Right here's the comet, Comet 12P, and this comet might be visible during one of the upcoming solar eclipses. I mean, how rare is that? That just doesn't happen. We have two solar eclipses that are going to occur here in the span of less than eight months. During that time frame, we've got two comets plunging towards the sun this is one of them that very well could be visible during this eclipse on April 8th. And looking at the path of totality over here at timeanddate.com, this is the eclipse of April 8th of 2024. I've zoomed in on Dallas, and you can see the, the dark line in the center is the path of totality. Austin, Waco, Dallas, Tyler, San Antonio, and other areas in that dark orange line in the center of that map. And here's a larger map of the path of totality, in fact, the path of the eclipse right here. If you're anywhere in this shaded area, you'll be able to see at least part of the eclipse. If you're on this dark orange line right here, you should be if conditions are favorable, no clouds, you'll be able to see the entire eclipse, and they're calling this the, the Great North American Eclipse because it goes through Mexico, the United States, and parts of eastern Canada. So if you see your location in the dark orange on this map, you could see a total eclipse, and you might also see a comet during the eclipse. How about that? That is something that definitely doesn't happen very often. And once again, over here at timeanddate.com, this is what the eclipse is supposed to look like during totality on April 8th of 2024. And there's an outside chance that you might be able to see this comet right here, Comet 12P, during the total eclipse. I mean, this one here could definitely be one for the record books. And here's a map of the path of the eclipse going through Colorado, New Mexico, once again through Texas, if I'm not mistaken, I think San Antonio is going to be in the middle of both of these total eclipses. This one here, again, being in October of this year, October 14th. Here's the path of the total eclipse, and you can see it dips down through North America, Western North America, down through Central America, and down through South America. And zooming in a little bit closer to see some of the cities in the path of totality, there once again, San Antonio. San Antonio is going to be in the path of both of these total eclipses. Albuquerque, just to name a few of the, the larger cities, Odessa, 
uh, going up in through Utah, northeastern Nevada, southwestern Oregon, and then of course all of the lighter orange. You'll be able to see the eclipse. It'll be a partial eclipse once again if skies are permitting, if it's not cloudy. So once again, two major celestial events coming up one 230 days away from today. That's the total eclipse of April 8th, and then one 53 days away from today, the total eclipse of October 14th of 2023. I want to take you guys now over to Scotland. This is rare video footage that was submitted on August 20th of 2023 by Mike from Scotland as he was looking up into the sky and he was filming the sun behind a, a thin layer of clouds, thin and thick at times, but the clouds were acting like a decent solar filter. You could see the entire sun without the aid of sunglasses or any type of filter. It kind of reminded me of an H-alpha filter, just a different color, but the clouds were again acting as a solar filter. When this happens, just out of nowhere, he's filming from the same location, doesn't move, doesn't zoom in, doesn't do anything different when all of a sudden two more circles appear in the video that appear to be suns along with the primary one that he had been filming the entire time and then watch over here on the right hand side you're going to see the sun pop back out right there there it is without its two companions so how did that do that totally bizarre again he didn't zoom in or out his position remained the same during the entire length of the video and right here are a few still images when the three were visible in his video and again this is probably some sort of a trick of light I would assume I don't know how this happened because again he didn't change a thing he was just standing there filming without zooming in or doing anything different when all of a sudden out of nowhere two more what appeared to be perfectly round circles the same size as the Sun appeared down here at around the five o'clock position of the Sun appearing to be behind the clouds and then here's a close-up view of the the video that he took when the the other two right there appeared almost ghostly looking views of what appeared to be two more suns below the the primary sun that he was filming above Scotland back on August 20th of 2023 just a few hours ago actually less than 48 hours ago he took this video footage from Scotland thank you Mike really appreciate that thanks for the photos and videos guys keep them coming if you guys have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr. mbb 333.com if you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email come over here to the home page of the website you can always find a link down below in the description box look for this red banner that says have a large video it's a drop box drag and drop your video into the drop box please include your first name date and location and i'll take it from there thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there